Okay, so I'm doing a uh, another bracket video because these are fun. So they will there will probably be more of these, a lot more of these because I don't know what else to do. So I have 64 songs on here. Uh, I'm doing the only other person that I know that makes music that isn't called Gorilla called Billy. So I have her entire Spotify discography. I have guitar songs, When We All Fall Asleep, Where Do We Go, uh, Happier Than Ever, Don't Smile At Me. I have the remixes, I have singles. Um, every Billy song is on here. So, 64 songs, one winner, face off against each other, March Madness style. So, I'm going to get straight into this, and our first matchup is Elo Milo and Anne Byrne. So, I... Hold on, what the fuck? So, Elo Milo is a really good song. One of the better ones off of When We All Fall Asleep, Where Do We Go? And Burn on the other side. I don't care for it all because I am not a fan of Vince Staples. So, the choice for that one is pretty easy. Not My Responsibility and Goodbye. Um... I can see why people would like Not My Responsibility. Very um, powerful and moving song, some might say. But I think Goodbye is really unique in the way that it was made. Like, taking a little bit from each song off of When We All Fall Asleep, Where Do We Go, backwards and putting it into one song. I think that's really cool. So Goodbye wins there. Ocean Ice and Lost Cause. One thing I'll say... I really do not like the remixes. There is a few remixes that I will pick over the uh, regular song, but this, I hate Ocean Eyes. The remixes, that is. Um, Lost Cause, really great song. People went crazy when the music video came out because it was so cool, so quirky. Um, the song is great, too. Now, we have the exclamation points, and I love you. This is just the intro to the album, not really a song. Uh, I Love You, even if this was a song I'd pick, I Love You, this is a really good song. Um, really appreciate the uh, the vocals and tone in that song, so take that one. Now, these two remixes, I don't really care for this one, but this is my favorite remix, the Sophie Tucker one. So that one, that one walks. Uh, when the Party's Over is one of the songs by Billy that grabbed my attention and kept me listening to Billy. But Your Power, when that came out as a single before Happier Than Ever was released, it was just so good. Like, I still listen to this song, and it's just such a good song. Like, it will never get skipped. When the Party's Over is a really great song, and the music video is cool. Um, but I think Your Power is... A better one and then six feet under remix or bad guy bad guy probably billy's most known song kind of blew her up uh so that one easy i didn't change my number listen before i go this one i don't listen to quite as much as i do other songs off of that album unfortunately it's not a bad song it's just not my favorite but this song when i get in the car and i want to listen to billy there's points where I'll search for this song to come on. I will skip until this song comes on. So, listen before I go wins there. Male Fantasy or I Don't Want to Be You Anymore. Male Fantasy is another one that I don't listen to a whole lot. Um, it's still a great song, but I Don't Want to Be You Anymore is so much better. It's a great song. Um, Ilo Milo Live. Don't care for Ocean Eyes remixes. Elo Milo is better than the regular Elo Milo. Um, Happier Than Ever, Bad Guy remix. Most people hate on the remix because of Justin Bieber, but I think his verse in that song is actually kind of cool, and I do enjoy listening to that. But Happier Than Ever like completely changed the way that Billie Eilish made music. Like she like stepped out of like her genre and like made like this cool like pop punk like crazy song i don't i don't know how to explain it like 
the guitar in that song is just so cool when it picks up and i love the vocals in that song it's so good ocean eyes are lovely lovely is one of the ones that i am not super fond of augie wiener loves this song um ironic because she's actually whatever the opposite of lovely is she's awful and horrible um so i ocean eyes but I don't usually listen to that song. Come Out and Play is another one that I don't really listen to. I usually skip. And NDNA, when this song came out, I lost my mind. Um, I know a lot of people didn't like it because it sounded like it had Among Us sussy music in it. But um, the music video, I stayed up and waited for this song to release. Um, the music video is super cool. Um, so this one, Bury Your Friend or Bitches Broken Hearts. This is probably my second favorite single that she's released. Bury Your Friend is a good song, but Bitches Broken Hearts is just so much better. This one should be hard because both of these songs are so good. The quote interlude of Haley's Comet, which I don't know if it's actually an interlude, when the music changes and... um. She, it's like there's like no singing it's just the music at the near the end of the song that's super cool and i really like that part of the song which kind of makes it great but the bass line and the flow of the lyrics and all the good girls go to hell this is my favorite billy song this one los vos Oliver. i don't listen to this one that much I don't even know how to say the title. Um, Everybody Dies is an okay song off of that album. Not my favorite, but I don't. I usually don't skip it. I usually keep it on. Plays all the way through, so I'll have to take that one. And then for whatever reason, we stay on the left side. Um, Ilo Milo, great song. Goodbye is a lot more unique. Um, I really do enjoy Goodbye. Lost Cause or I Love You. Lost Cause is a great song, but I Love You is the, the better pick. Copycat Remix or Your Power. As much as I love this song, Your Power is just so much better. Your Power just has something to it that stands out from a lot of other songs. Bad Guy or Listen Before I Go. Bad Guy is a good song, but it's overplayed because of the radio. It's still a great song, but Listen Before I Go is just so much better um even if it wasn't ever played i would still say that listen before i go is the better song i don't want to be you anymore elo milo live so good song but elo milo live is a better elo milo happier than ever ocean eyes that's so easy ndna or bitches broken hearts this is a good song mm, top three top four off of Happier than ever, but Bitches Broken Hearts is a lot better. Uh, All the Good Girls Go to Hell Walk Here, or Walks Here. Everybody Dies is nowhere close to as good as that song. Goodbye and I Love You, two very unique songs, uh, both very great. Um, Goodbye is more unique, uh, has a cool thing that I haven't seen before on an album, so I think I'll take that one. Your power and listen before I go. As it says in the name, power. This song is much more powerful than listen before I go, even though this song is very good. Um, your power. Elo Milo live are happier than ever. So the better Elo Milo or second best maybe off of that album. Happier than ever. Bitches, Broken Hearts, or All the Good Girls Go to Hell. So this song did have a good run, but All the Good Girls Go to Hell is just it's just crazy. Goodbye, Your Power. So I'm probably going to have to go with Your Power. Goodbye had a good run. Uh, it went up against some pretty weak songs, but Your Power takes this one. Now, this is really hard um happier than ever or all the good girls go to hell so this is like the gorilla's bracket of 
the better song or my favorite song. So Happier Than Ever is obviously the better song, but All the Good Girls Go to Hell is my favorite song. So, since this is opinionated, I'm going to have to go with All the Good Girls Go to Hell, but Happier Than Ever is a great song. That was That's such a hard choice. And then Your Power, All the Good Girls Go to Hell... If all the good girls go to hell, just beat happier than ever. Your power stands no chance. So we move to the right side. Um, everything I wanted in getting older. Now this is a pretty hard matchup too. Um, getting older, great song. Everything I wanted, fantastic song. Um, which one I would rather listen to is probably getting older. So I'm gonna go with that one. But everything I wanted, I think the fact that it's overplayed and everyone's blown it up on TikTok and stuff uh, makes it less favorable. Um, My Boy or My Future, when I said Happier Than Ever is probably second best song on the Happier Than Ever album, My Future is the one that stands in first for me. Oxytocin or Bellyache, um... I haven't always been fond of Bellyache, but now that I think about it, like, it's not a bad song, and I actually do enjoy it, but Oxytocin is just so, so, so good. When I Was Older, or My Boy Remix. So, When I Was Older is actually a really great song. Love listening to it. My Boy, the remix, not so much. Party Favor is my favorite song off of Don't Smile At Me, so this one will easily walk here. Uh, Six Feet Under remix, stands no chance. You Should See Me in a Crown or Overheated. So this song is great, but Overheated, I love the music for it. Um, So Overheated takes this one. Wish You Were Gay or Six Feet Under remix. I don't Okay, I don't listen to this song as much off of that album, and surprisingly, this is one of the remixes that I do enjoy. This one and the uh, Sophie Tucker one, I do listen to, so I'm actually taking the remix here. And then Billy Bossa Nova or Copycat. Um, the Copycat remix is better than regular Copycat, so I'm taking Billy Bossa Nova because the vocals, the guitar... I love Billy Bossa Nova. It's such a good song. Bored is the, I think, the last song on this list that I actually dislike. Um, and the, the remix for Bellyache actually isn't terrible. Goldwing or 8. So Goldwing is, one of, is top 3 off of Happier Than Ever. I think top 3 is My Future Happier Than Ever and Goldwing. I love Goldwing. Eight, not one that I usually listen to or care to listen to. Ocean Eyes, Remix, or Ocean Eyes. So there's two Ocean Eyes on here on the other side. Um, Because if I didn't include this as a single, I would have had 63 songs and we wouldn't have been able to do this. So um, I'm going to take the regular because I don't like... Now, A Hostage is a great song, but of the singles... This is my favorite. When I said that Bitches of Broken Hearts was my second favorite single, No Time to Die is my favorite Billy single. Um, Watch, just like Anne Byrne, not a huge fan of it. My Strange Addiction at one point um, was my favorite Billy song. So take that one easily. Really good song. Um, TV or Zanny? <sighs> um, I have not listened to guitar songs that being TV or the 30th, enough. Um, I don't think I'm going to either. So Zanny takes this one, because that's a, it's actually a really good song. Six Feet Under the 30th. Um, I do enjoy TV in the 30th more than I enjoy Six Feet Under, so this one, just a weird matchup. Um, Six Feet Under, or Therefore I Am, remix, and this... I love the transition from ND and A to Therefore I Am. 
the smooth transition. It just sounds so nice. I, that's one of my favorite parts about the album. Now, getting older or my future. When my future was released as a single, it was my most listened to song on Spotify last year. Um, getting older, great song and stuff, but my future is just one of a kind. Oxytocin or when I was older. This song is good and all, but oxytocin is just phenomenal. Um, Party Favor or Overheated? Like I said, Overheated's a great song, has great music, but this is my favorite song off of the EP. Billy Bossa Nova easily wins here. It's Six Feet Under, which I already don't care for that much, and then a remix. Um, Goldwing or Bellyache remix? Goldwing, third best song on the album. Easily take that. Ocean Eyes or No Time to Die? This is not competition for that one um i really enjoy both of these songs my strange addiction and zanny the bass in both of these is goes crazy especially in the car um but my strange addiction is a lot more fun and i enjoy listening to it more zanny is great though the 30th or therefore i am so i'm gonna take therefore i am even though it's overplayed because i don't listen two guitar songs as much as I should. My Future, Oxytocin. So, Oxytocin, great song. Uh, but My Future, like I said, just love that song so much. Party Favor or Billy Bossa Nova? This one's a little bit harder. Um, Billy Bossa Nova is probably more fun to listen to, but I respect Party Favor more. Um, I'm probably going to have to go with Party Favor for this one. Goldwing or No Time to Die? As much as I love Goldwing, No Time to Die is sh just holds so much power to it. I love that song. And then Therefore I Am and My Strange Addiction. My Strange Addiction wins this one. Therefore I Am is, I think of it more as a radio song than... It's like a regular song off of the album. Now, My Future or Party Favor. As much as I love Party Favor, My Future is my favorite song off of Happier Than Ever, which is the better album. And then No Time to Die or My Strange Addiction. As much as I love this song, No Time to Die is, like, just so good. And then this is something that I don't want to have to choose between. So My Future, fantastic song. The music near the end of the song how it stops and then starts again or slows and then speeds back up i love that part of the song um no time to die though the build up in that song and then like the climax of it it's it just beats my future i mean like my future is fantastic song but no time to die uh, I don't know. No, I have to pick my future. No Time to Die is a great song, and I'm glad I got this far, but my future is just such a great song. And then this is the uh, final two, so All the Good Girls Go to Hell, When We All Fall Asleep, Where Do We Go? And my future, Happier Than Ever. So, pros for All the Good Girls Go to Hell. I love the flow of how the lyrics are, and the bass line is probably second or third favorite bass line of all time. Um, and then My Future. I love the pace of the song. The uh, I love the lyrics. Her vocals are fantastic in that song. So much fun to listen to, so much fun to sing. Both of them are really fun to sing. Um, All the Good Girls Go to Hell is probably my current favorite Billy song, but My Future is my most played Billy song of all time, just because of how good it is. So... Um... I guess if I guess if it was which one I would rather have never listen to again, it would probably be my future. Cause the 
I'm telling you, the baseline in All the Good Girls Go to Hell is just the driving factor of why I love that song so much. So, the winner of the Billy Bracket is All the Good Girls Go to Hell. Okay, hold on. So, here is the bracket. Go down slowly. All Billy songs uh, off of for Spotify. The winner being All the Good Girls Go to Hell. Um, he's so. Mm. 